What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we need to summon out a hero because, well, we did test her on the test server a bit, but, I mean, we got raid up invites, we have the one specifically for her from the special purchase package that we had, so we're gonna go ahead and build her to Supreme Plus. We're basically building every single hero here to Supreme Plus, so let's see how this goes. I'm hoping we high roll, and then we're gonna do some initial testing with her i think we're gonna take her to plus 10 as well because well her plus 10 is actually good now instead of it being at plus 15 and on top of that we're gonna get some other a levels that might help us level up a few more to paragon or just complete and finish a couple so let's get going uh chippy we really do not need those acorns man we really really don't and it looks like the first one is most definitely going to pity right here so there's the first one, Pity Copy, Nara. She does seem to have some fun uses, and to be honest, I don't think this is going to be a hero I would recommend for most people's accounts. I think for most people, this is probably not a hero to go for. And tomorrow, or even later today maybe, I might be going over my my recommendations on this current banner because, you know, we have Lenya up, we do have Nara up, and we also have Sinbad coming in like uh, two weeks probably. So we'll have to talk about all that and see which ones are worthwhile. But so far, we're going to pity. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no. Wait, I didn't mean to hit continue like that. Either way, we got the Nara copy. All right. Oh, geez. I need to change our wish list because it looks like Coco is completely maxed out. Let's move over to... And we're actually using Kruger a bit, but I'm sure Entendre is the better play here. I'm sure that's the better play. So let's keep going let's get some high rolls so far we've hit pity both times or three times two times three times i actually don't remember how many times we've summoned her so far all i do know is it is not a good run but i guess we had some crazy high roll on our account like the other week when we were doing the epic summon so we can't be too mad at that i can be a little mad at this though <laughs> a little bit mad at this because this is a little triggering right here oh my gosh we're just hitting pity every time we're not even getting the a level along with it either so that kind of sucks we are not buying anything like that hero copies that i purchase are only happening during the celestial hypogen pull so we've gotten three so far right i i think that's just the three we have right just confirm Two more in the bag. Yep, yeah, okay. I want to make sure we didn't get one from somewhere and I was totally forgetting about it. Because at the end of the day, uh, we do have a lot of diamonds right now because we did do some purchases and stuff for some stargazes. Uh, but I'd like to save as many diamonds as possible, game. But it seems like you are going to make me use every single invite plus more. Ugh. We don't need acorns. Okay, we didn't get acorns at least. That's, that's a positive. And we are starting to dip into diamonds now. And we are hitting pity every single time. Wait, that might have been early actually. That might have been one early. I think? Maybe? We'll just go and just say it's pity anyway. If it's 10 early, that doesn't really count, right? It's got to be like on the first pull or second pull. If it's on the third, it's basically as good as pity. <sighs> All right, what can we get? Come on, man, come on. <laughs> That's why I hate raid up banners. You get one A level of pull, and then if you're lucky, you get the one S level right here without even getting an additional A level. This is why I absolutely hate this banner. The raid up banners absolutely suck. We've got five, we need three more to go. So can we hit one or a double right here? That would help a ton. Oh, we got one early, there we go. All right, let's get another one right here. Come on, right, right, right here, right here, this one. This one right here. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna be it. I thought it was gonna happen, but that's a nope. Number two copy right here. Yes, it is. Okay, so we got two early finally. That's not bad. Actually, we haven't really watched this animation. She's uh she's a main character in the main story in this too, and it's a really cool relationship you have with Sanja, which is really nice. And then we need one more copy for Supreme Plus. Oh, I thought this was it when we had two beams. Stupid Shippy giving us stupid acorns that we have thousands of at this point on this account. It's completely useless. Acorns, I, they got to they gotta add something to use acorns for. 
those of us in like the crazy late game because like we have every hero upgraded and we just don't need acorns all right there we go that's copy number eight so let's get her leveled up let's get her powered up and see what we can do with this hero so uh beyond that we also yep yeah, we had coco that we're getting up to paragon one which is cool and then now we have wait you two oh hey look at that we actually got some mythic uh action on mirel which don't use her whatsoever all right so let's get going i think i might actually have magic runes for her already too or magic charm sorry uh so many shards so many shards let's go come on two copies here up to legendary plus we unlock the hero's focus get that upgraded there let's go to mythic plus let's get supreme plus with 200 more acorns which we still have a crazy amount of i feel like yeah we got like 4,000 omni acorns which is nuts and there we go supreme plus yeah, one thing if you guys didn't know from the original release of her 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 item did get changed they did push it it was before that plus five and plus 15 were like plus five and plus 10 and then plus 10 effect was further uh so yeah we're gonna take her up to plus 10 on this just to pretty much get use out of her i think she might be an interesting pvp tool to use in like supreme arena i don't think taking her above this is gonna be any use because again most of her abilities require her to get a kill so things like uh dream realm and such are not gonna be very useful with her because she she needs to get those kills right here she increases her attack when she gets kills she definitely is a snowball type character that gets stronger as time goes on and we also have affinity from her 5000 i'll take that some invites and some diamonds back we don't quite have the three elite just yet so close at three elite she's going to increase her crit by three or 100 for the next three hits and recovers hp per second for the next six after she assists or kills a non-summon enemy so that's really really cool and again her abilities are just so unique because even if we just plug her into one of our battles right here uh, if there's an enemy on the other side that we're like really really annoyed with what we can do is something along the lines of this we can go ahead and grab her out of the list where did you go there she is uh and we can drag like an enemy over to our side of the battlefield which might have some use honestly and then of course she can continually use her ultimate right here so she's waiting on the ultimate to get someone at sub 40 percent then she uses it and then she's going to drag another character over i know it's really hard to see what's going on here i'm intrigued to see what her damage output does look like though but you can see here she keeps like pulling the enemy over to the our side of the battlefield she kind of does have an okay synergy with dunlinger's stopping ultimates because like a lot of times she's cool with being at 100 percent energy it's like not not a big deal her being all the way up there and you see right here like her damage output can be absolutely crazy especially if she's going one after another after another on multiple targets here uh so like here i wonder can we actually yeah we can grab like the od out of the pack which is probably the big important part of this uh we're gonna sit dunlinger we're gonna run this here but you can see here watch ready she immediately pulls that od over to our side of the battlefield and od starts getting beat up she does have that ultimate that she's going to hold until he's 40 percent or lower trying to get the kill and then sadly she didn't get the killing blow right there so she didn't get the extra energy but you can see she keeps manipulating the battlefield which is really really nice she keeps using her hook she didn't go down right there sadly but man igor even to this day igor is such a pain in the butt you'll see nara a lot in the story we're about a week ahead on our test server she becomes a very important hero person in our story mode so just stay tuned you'll see her a bunch there we go knock igor off the battlefield there's absolutely no way she does good damage on this one simply because of how long that battle went yeah and she was dead for a lot of it let's see if we can do one more difference ones here um I don't want to pull i guess that's the furthest target no matter what yeah it looks like it let's get this going here she's gonna pull the enemy to our side of the battlefield she is going to get her energy very very quickly and again she holds that until the target is below 40 percent in hopes that it will be an executing hit which should be here in a second right here she tries to get it and she also does aoe damage she also heals her allies which is something that's really really cool too and with Taylene in the battlefield, it's so hard to see anything going on. But I swear, Nara was actually doing some pretty solid damage in there. We did end up losing, 
Uh, but Nara is a solid pickup. It's just a hero that I don't think anybody really needs. And that's what I'm going to deep dive a little bit later on today and talk about. We're going to try her in some PvP and such. Uh, she looks badass. She has a really cool kit. She does feel like a hero that might become viable in the future too. So picking her up might not be the worst idea. However, please wait. Do not summon for her just yet. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. We're going to do more testing on this hero. We got her at Supreme Plus. We're going to see what she can do. See you guys next time.